Good afternoon, everybody. This is David Snook, blogger dude, with another message to the world. The topic today is software. Software is one of the key components in being able to create effective and successful videos. Looking at the blogs and the online information out there, I believe that some of you may have an inaccurate perception of the media impressions for Kodak software that's included with Kodak pocket video cameras. Therefore, I'm going to use this video today to explain to you some of the features and benefits of our software using examples. I'll focus on single image extraction, slow motion playback, and special effects. Here we go. Okay. The only way I know how to explain software is to demonstrate software, so let's start. This is the main page that you will find as you open up the Media Impressions for Kodak software. And the first thing I generally do is click on Browse My Videos right here. And what this shows you is all of the different folders, as you can see here on the left-hand side, of saved video clips that I have on my hard drive. So we're going to start with the single image extraction feature and uh, let's slide over here and as you can see this is uh, some footage I captured of soccer header shots I was very inspired by the World Cup finals and all of the World Cup soccer games in fact the last couple weeks and so what I did after the final game was done I went out in the backyard with my son and captured a couple of header shot sequences here and as you can see very clearly I have virtually zero soccer skills but this was my son tossing the ball to me and me attempting to simulate a header so um, if you want to edit this and capture any kind of uh, single image from this clip what you would do is go into the edit mode and the edit button is right down here at lower right and then you play the video and, and pause it where you would like to stop it so and then if you don't quite get it right and if you're a little bit beyond there you see this little blue bar that's where I that's where you can adjust the location and let's just say I want a picture of that exact shot and then what you do is you slide down here over the capture icon and click on capture then you're offered a choice here of how many frames per capture I choose one you click there and the frame is saved as a single image as a JPEG the location for where it gets saved can be adjusted by the user down here clicking on this hot link so that's the first feature second one is slow motion playback I really enjoy this feature because it really is something you can play around with and uh, what you want to do is you go into edit again so the edit options are shown on the right hand side of the screen here and the speed can be adjusted here when you click on this drop down arrow you have everything from 1 5th X all the way up to 5x so quite a range of options for either slow motion playback or fast action I'll choose 1 -fifth here and we'll push play and you'll see how this plays out it really does slow it down and you can imagine how useful this would be if you are a hitting coach in a baseball context or if you're a tennis coach teaching high school kids how to adjust their serve or if you're a golf coach trying to mentor someone or coach someone on their golf swing so a very effective and useful tool in that context or if you're just playing around like I am and uh, in the backyard you can make some cool videos using this feature as well so uh, the last feature I want to demonstrate is uh, special effects so we'll go to this video here and this is where we will stop it and we'll push edit one more time and edit will lead you to this screen and then I'll push effects you see the effects tab there and then you can adjust it to black and white sepia uh, what else do we have here old movie that's an interesting one uh, fish eye is another 
and there's exposure which is a little bit harsh if you ask me the sketch I like this one uh, negative remnants of the AGX or film days and then watercolor so let's just push on sketch which is one of my personal favorites and you'll see that same clip in slow motion at 1 5th X and that's the way it looks so lots of options uh, and lots of features to enjoy and take advantage of with this software I do encourage you to give it a try there are uh, many things that we haven't been able to cover in this short vlog we'll have to cover those at another time that's all for now have a great day